Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Motion RC Live. Back to back live streams. Yesterday was the Panther with Wesley, and I'm here with another Bancroft boat. Um, we're going through the lineup. We had so many boats that came out, and just you know, we need new media. We need pictures. A lot of them don't have video on them, so uh, you know, we're in the process of getting all that going. So. It's always best to just do it live, uh, these unboxings, because obviously you've seen a lot of these if you've, if you've tuned in. Um, I know a lot of boat guys have watched a lot of the previous ones, especially on the warships, aircraft carrier, things like that. Um, they come out of the box looking so good, and this one I'm looking down in the box. Looks no different. Really cool here. We got the fishing trawler Grand Captain. It's 35 inches or 900 millimeter, I believe, um, but it looks really good. Uh, from inside and since it's 120th scale you get a lot more uh, pronounced details if you will than some of the other uh, ships that you've seen like the warships but I want to uh, welcome some of the people in the chat I think I saw Vic in here uh, we got Tug Hill RC, Slapnuts RC, Spencer Keith what's going on guys um, thank you for joining us and uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna get going here but um, what's today now Friday. today is Friday 16th. June 16th man we are past the halfway point of the year, crazy already, but uh, some exciting stuff coming down the line. Um, you know, definitely stay tuned to Motion RC in the next couple weeks. It's going to be, we're going to have a lot of fun here. Uh, as we have been, things are really uh, rolling. So um, I see uh, that Larry813, it's a little hidden there. Is that Larry or Harry? Larry813, FMVFD. Hello, James. Fort Mitchell, Alabama. Can't wait to get this one in the water. The pond is calling my name. Is this, uh, the, yeah, man, that's what's great about these. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be uh, a couple weeks ago, right? We did uh, we did this one. We did the luxury. I'm going to go grab it. We did the luxury yacht. So this will be similar to, uh, to this one. More of just, you know, this one was great because I pulled this out. I didn't have to add any ballast to that. <clears throat> That one kind of just went in, unlike a lot of the uh, the bigger boats. So, you know, if you don't want to be all in money-wise, unlike the large warship, something like this is on the in-between. But again, a lot of detail, uh, a lot of fun. It'll probably be a lot faster uh, on the water than, than some of the other ones. But uh, definitely great to, to go in there. Uh, Robert Ortev, I see ships about to get real. Yeah, we got a lot of ships. <laughs> I love I had to like make space on the plane racks for a lot of the other boats uh that i have now it's crazy but um what do you got test testing this weekend if it passes not sure it will fly yet what is uh vic getting ready for the cg is that on the uh i think you have that new bomber right the b1 is that what you're talking about or is it about the uh the cougar cougars oh that's what we'll say cougars in stock and shipping now uh from motion so if you didn't get in on a pre-order that's done they're there you can uh, order yours today and have it shipped out. So that's really exciting. Uh, it's exciting that they did the Panther Cougar kind of at the same time, upgrading that. Let me grab a razor blade. Actually, Alex, I think it's on my desk behind you over there. Would be my X-Acto knife because we want to cut this bad boy open and uh, start digging in. So first and foremost, actually, what I can do uh, briefly is I'm going to tip the box towards you. Just again, so people can see. Is anyone interested in this going to want to know that the uh, the boat comes packaged really well? Um, all these boats do. They do their best to make sure that um, you know the parts inside are uh, protected. You know, with all that foam, they build like these foam towers that the boat sits in and around, and everything sort of gets wrapped around there. But just looking at the top from the top down view, like this, is as far as I gotten so far. I didn't want to pull it out till I did it live with you guys. Um, but again, all that wood decking is real wood. Um, they use real metal. All the railing is real metal. Uh, they do a great job with the the handcrafted details on something like this, on all these things. You know what they really need to make? They need to make the Jaws fishing fishing boat. We're going to need a bigger boat. Yep, they need the Orca. That's what they really need with a scale with a scale jaws uh rc rc shark behind it but yeah robert it's a it's definitely a beast people who are into it's, it's you know it's funny having done you know so much planes that with the the tanks got really popular um you know for us and now the boats are becoming you know in the boating world motion rc we're finally you know starting to break in there with with the products we got with the bancroft line and uh it's exciting you know there's a lot of RC, but so many RC communities that you just, 
if you're not in them, you don't think about it, if you will. But once you're getting into them, join in the Facebook groups of those. They're just as active, just as cool with customizations and things like that. You know, the people are in it, love it. And uh, we're just excited to be a part of it. You know, me and Alex have been having a lot of fun taking the, you know, instead of driving, you know, to the RC field to, uh, you know, to what's it called to now just go up to the lake and take these out. I know I got to find it. I think I believe there is a competitive uh, boating club near me. Um, actually, my UPS guy, yeah. <laughs> when I went to ship a, a plane or something once and he's like, oh, you're into RC. And he like had his RC sailboat. And this was before motion ever started carrying boats you know i don't even know if it's still down there but uh he had shown me like his custom sailboat and he had mentioned that yeah they go to our lake somewhere else where we normally don't go in um and uh they do like competitive sailing uh, which is awesome that's got to be fun like i can imagine rc boats with a lot of people you know doing a competition i could see how that could be a lot of fun Cool yeah right boat multiple one. boats especially sailboats like going around the yeah big jim um i didn't expect the size yeah i didn't ex i guess i i should have expected at this point i should have expected the size but <clears throat> there we go all right i guess i'll um i'm not gonna pull this up and out so we're gonna do the we're gonna break the box here so then i could give you that that side profile shot the only thing i pull that top looks like we only have one box so that's I'm assuming just the transmitter. I don't think this this boat will have any sort of too much extra detail, if you will, the way some of the aircraft carriers do. Just pull this down. There we go. Now I'm going to spin it this way. So I just broke the side of the box. Now I'm just going to line it up here. And when you drop it, there you go. You see now how it comes in the packaging. Oh, cool. It's got the blue at the bottom so for your water line, separating the water line from the top. Pretty darn cool. Now, I do see a couple of accessories that they have put around the ship. So it looks like they stuck an antenna, like right here. They just stuck that into the foam. So I'm going to take that out. Cool. And that feels like a... I believe that's plastic. There's another one on this side. I assume these are probably on the back of the boat. Then we got one in the front here, and this is a metal, so this looks like an extra metal piece from from there, but that's like, that was stuck into the foam. And then along here, you see we have the mast, uh, the top of the mast. This what looked like some LED lights on there? Is this one got lighting? Now let's see, how do we get that off? All right, I need... It's always fun. They ribbon, they, they tied it with a ribbon in the back. So I'm going to cut through the ribbon. So that's out. That's out. That's out. That's out. And cool. All right, we're going to figure that out when the time comes. So I'm going to put that down. And the rest is looking good. Get out of the way. Just trying to see what else might be there. The flag. I think I want to just grab it. I think I'm just going to grab it, Alex. I'm just going for it. I think I'm just going to go for it. Oh, I went for it. That's... Put this here, sir. Cool. <clears throat> Looking in the box. Make sure. Oh, there it is. Always got to find that. That's our uh, our stand. So we can put that together quick. And the big box. Now out of the way. Let's bring our boat back. It's what? This will be cool. 120th scale. Man, that's really cool. So let's, uh, let's put together our stand first. Now these again are just uh, 
just wood that you press together. But there's always on all of these, um, there's a definitive front and back. Like they're always molded to whatever ship, um, you know, you're getting. So there's really only, when you do it, there's only going to be one way that it'll fit the right way. But then these you just press together, and I would suggest a little little CA glue. Um, I've already had one where I put it in like the car, had the boat sitting in it, and then one side like fell out. So you could definitely glue them down just to make sure they're secure for our purposes. I'm not going to do that right now, but that's it. That's how that goes. So now let's get rid of the foam. Get one piece gone. And then we got, oh cool, it's just the one with these, that's down, and then we just got the foam it's sitting in, there we go, and you can see one side 100%, even the foam looks the same as that, cool, that's pretty darn cool looking. <clears throat> How much does it weigh? John, um, I have a scale. It's over there, but I don't know if it's going to, I think it's going to be too small for this. Um, I don't think my scale will go. Uh, I would say it's about five or six pounds. Maybe. With nothing in it. Like, obviously, you know, I brought out this one. Just being, I see the height of it. This one will probably need some ballast. So I'm probably going to add like this, a two or two pound bag, three pound bag of uh, BBs. I'll probably pull some out. I've been pulling these bags out of all <laughs> ships for the next one. Like it's crazy. Um, but I'd say, yeah, about five pounds is what it feels like. Um, uh, I like it's fiberglass. So it can be repaired. Of course, I, I couldn't imagine what you would smash this into that you'd break the fiberglass on it um you know that would be i don't know if they go fast enough to really do that kind of damage but i guess hey anything's possible put in there now we just got a couple of uh ribbons around the top well first let me open the box actually oh that was like that was like chalkboard ah that sound absolutely hate that I cannot scratch my nails across a chalkboard and be okay with it. A chalkboard. I don't think my kids know what a chalkboard is. I go into their school and they have like those digital screens now. All right, so we get the simple transmitter, not the, uh, we get the car-like transmitter, not the plane-like transmitter. In the box, we got our manual, small. We get our LiPo 2800 uh, 2S with the XC60. And another charger I must have. I've got a bin of these because I, you know, they send you one. You get all this stuff. And then I'm not even going to open it because uh, why, why even open it? But it's it's your standard plug the charger in and then charges through the uh, balance lead. Your standard uh, simple charger, if you will. But always works well. So I'll put that to the side. Now, I just want to take myself a look at the manual. These manuals are usually just one page for the boats. But I want to see if they give me any help with the uh, with the mass. I don't think it's going to matter too much. No, we are going to be the video that shows you how to install the mass. And we're going to do that together here today, right now. So next step is getting rid of... Oh. For the transmitter, it looks like we're going to need four AA batteries in there. So that's the only thing not included are the AA's. I'm going to cut this. There we go. Get that ribbon out of there. And then get this ribbon out of there. How many fishermen we got in the chat? Anyone been on a similar boat? Yeah. Like a similar size fishing trawler? You have? Yeah. You've uh, been on this boat. Fire Island. Okay. Out of Fire Island. This is like a, you know, a real life version. This looks like a pretty expensive boat. 
So I'm going around side. So again, yeah, this is all real metal on here. This. Do a detail check for a close up hand. Yeah. We're starting on the. Uh, yeah. Blowing then, all like, the foam bits off. Move. What does? Yeah, the anchor on the front. Yeah, well, they usually use. Yeah, they do use real, like, there's real chain. That's real chain wrapped around. Um, there's not enough. This doesn't move, so you couldn't you couldn't roll it down uh, if you wanted to. But um, yeah, it's there. Now, what else do I have that I can put in? So now we have the. Uh, I'm just looking. I see some hooks. Okay, there's a lot of hooks. That's where the rigging from our our mast is going to connect to. Because you'll see the hooks here. On like right there, down there, and there's another one on the corner. And then just looking at the picture, those other two antenna. Oh no, that might be for the mess. No, these are. So we got our two antenna. I believe these. Yep, yeah, they just they just go right in there. So these two, one. So there's our two. Tom and like there's no reason for them to go anywhere. Now I don't know where this one goes, but it could be could be at the front. Yeah, I have to figure that out. Now again, I do see like LEDs on here, but I'm not seeing where they might be connected. I mean those look like right? Or maybe they're just show. But they look like if you're looking at the tops, like they that appears like LEDs to me. So I'm gonna hear that. Robert or left. I'm glad he's loving it. It's Larry and Robert. See, we got some boaters who are into the boats. If anybody's anybody's near Georgia and you're interested, um, let me know. Cause some of these boats, like <clears throat> If you want an open box boat, you may be able to get it from me. Because after a while, I'm going to have too many of these in the studio. I'm just going to run out of space. All right, I'm just slowly taking this apart. Don't want to cut the uh, rope. If you will, they use like real rope. I'm just cutting down, getting this tape off. There's a piece of tape connected because it's two masks. Do one go on top of the other? I'm just trying to see how that works. Alex, can you bring up? Yeah, there it is. Bring up that picture. Is there a? Blow up the uh, the main picture there, so that they can see and I can see. I want. Oh, Larry, you're on the border of Georgia and Alabama. Oh, okay. I'm uh I'm pretty close to that. I'm about an hour out of there. Maybe 45 minutes from the border on the northwest. I'm northwest Georgia. Cleaning it up for you, these pictures. Oh, okay. All right. So that one goes out the back. Okay. All right. So there's two. So one's going to, so it attaches out the back. And look at all that rigging. We got to see where that rigging goes. Yeah. I may have to. There. I'm not sure if you can see on that screen. But I may I have can. to Photoshop my own little diagram for people to, uh, or add it to the manual. Because that's the beauty of digital manuals. You can update them. Easier than the print one. You can update them instantaneously and just change the file. Okay, this is connected. That is connected, but there is. You see how this? See how it works? It goes back. It goes. Oh, it goes all the way back and yeah. down. Okay. All right. All right. Oh my God! Look at that. So there's like a real like pulley up there that that the string is wow 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 so this is one of those just want to separate them all to make sure that you get no knots or anything so i'm just that's what i'm doing now i've got these two down and then this look at this i can pull on this rope can I? Yeah, based on the picture, so that should go all the way down. 
should go all the way down. Well, I'm just looking because that, when I pull that up, Huh. I don't know if that's going to be possible to go all the way down in its the... current state. Because I'm okay, just looking. That picture is at an angle. Yeah, it's different in each picture, yeah. huh? So that I'm just going to see. If I put this. Because now there's a hole at the top where that would go. If that goes down. Let's just see where. Because this pulls through. So these are what these are going to hold it down, right? So we're going to hold down with one. Well, actually, before I lock this down, before I lock it down, before I get ahead of myself. Okay, the the strings the strings will reach as is. So I may have to extend the string if I want to bring it down. Like you may have to manipulate it a bit on your own, depending on how you want it. But then again, no. Because there's a guardrail here, you wouldn't be able to bring it all the way down. You'd hit this rail unless you like went through it. So I think it's going to, for the most part, be at that almost 45 degree angle. I would tie some uh, outriggers on there and troll for minnows. Like, you think you could catch, imagine you caught a real fish with an RC boat. Well, I'm going to take this out for a second just because I want to see. Let's take a look at the inside, right? Before I lock down any rigging, I want to make sure... I don't even know how to get into the thing. So I'm going to pull these out for a second. <clears throat> now let's find out... I'm assuming, does this hole come... Oh yeah, look at that! There it is. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And that's all you can see inside. That's all fiberglass on the inside, like on the top part. On like the canopy, so that's really cool. I love that you'd be able to get, you know, some 20th scale. Now, is there any, I don't think, I think it's just weighted down. Yeah, there's no magnets or anything, just the weight, the weight of it alone will hold it down. Oh, look at the beauty, so that's like, that's really nice. And that's really nice. I'm going to show it from this angle. Because look at all the extra deck that's hidden by the top of the boat. That's all there, you know. Easy access to the inside. That's really nice. So we got a dual motor system with a dual rudder on one servo. So your rudders are... on the servo itself we've got the uh yep the esc and the you could see them right there esc and receiver already placed if you will zip tied down you say grand it says grand captain on the uh on the side which is cool and then uh and then taking a look underneath to show you guys the two screws they got them painted. Looks really nice. And then again, you could see, what is this called, guys, on the boat? Like, what would this, you know, what would this be? Like, what do you call this? Why don't I know what this is? This is the coolest boat I've ever seen. I like the realistic whistles. Also, can you make one that shoots water? That would be cool. Well, that's the other thing. Bancroft makes a tugboat, and I have it. Um, the Henlong tugboat shot water. Um, I don't know if the Bancroft one does, but the Bancroft one is a top-end one versus, versus that. So I'm going to try to bring that out. I was going to unbox that with this today, but I may save that. But I'm going to try to bring them out together. I may have to attach the tug to this. Yeah. But I think the tug's 150 scale, and this is 120. So it would be uh tug hey, would probably be. Yeah, Bill. Yep, the Henlong one shoots water. I see customers adding Clint Bodine. So the keel. So that is the keel. Okay. That is. I should have I should have known that. But I just we've done the sailboats and they call that big thing at the bottom is the keel that that gives it in. So that's cool. And then again, that's moated. Are the what's metal kind of? The screws. 
Oh, Bill, you might. It's hard for me to. I'm trying to feel them. I think they got play. I think they're painted plastic. Or they might be brass. They might be brass. Does it say it here? It's always hard to tell when I'm, you know, looking at it. We're looking through. We're looking through. Propeller. Plastic. I believe they are painted plastic. <clears throat> and they are triple three-bladed screws. So that's the other thing inside. All the, um, you know, and I'm sure you saw it when you looked in there, but there's like a lot of, you know, waterproofing in there for where all the holes in the, you know, in the mold to get the, you know, to get the tubes out for the screws to get the, the rudders out. <clears throat> but you can see that they really did a good job waterproofing these. I have noticed the only, the only ship I got any water inside was the Yamato, but that's because it had that deck on the back. And I and just, our CG was a little off on that first one. yeah, like the CG was a little off. So it sat a little low and then we tried to park it and water got in, <laughs> but that's the only way I've never seen water inside of one of them when just running normally. So they do a good job with that. All right. So that's how simple it is to get inside uh, the ship. So we are going to put this back on top and now let's work on our rigging. Make sure we figure out how that goes. So this just, there's only one way that it fits. So it, you know, like I'm trying to push it right now. That doesn't, you're pushing the whole boat, but I can easily take off the top. So that's not going, that's not going anywhere for anybody. Oh, do you get the detail up top with like the, uh, I want to show that too. Here we go. Take a look at like the wheel and all your little, like these things would be easily broken off if you touch them, but there would be no reason to really touch them. But I even love like the detail of the, uh, like this is plastic, but looks nice and clear. Yeah, just to catch any spray. They got the horns on the front. Yeah, windows look really good. I wish the doors open in there, but obviously there's nothing in there you wouldn't be able to see. So, you know, they're fake windows, if you will. But uh, really cool. Has, yeah, the fact that they even outline like the door with like wood, you know, you see like right here. I think, yeah, there it is. Like just really cool. The martini lounge. There you go. All right, so now I'm gonna get rocking on the rigging, but here you could see it from this angle. So see this like railing is here. Yeah. So I don't know how in that one picture that bad. was able to go past it because just look where that goes. Like that, that would touch, that would clearly touch. I'm just pulling this out of the way. So now, They love to catch each other. All right, so I'm looking at this one. This one's going to go down. I'm going to rig this here. And what's cool is I could have done the rigging because since the whole thing comes off, the rigging doesn't appear to attach anywhere that isn't on the removable canopy part. So once you install this, that's part of, that's part of it. <clears throat> now this hook is going to go here. I just don't know. I think I want to go, maybe I'll go inside though. One, two. So now we have these two up top, which I can only assume have to attach here. Or maybe they just, maybe they just go like right here. Go like they're around the brand. Yeah. That would make more sense. They're not going to reach. They're not going to reach that. You want to get to the point where they're taut. It's like that one's not taut. Like this one, yeah, I can get it to about there. But then, and then these two in the back, there's only two more to connect. Oh, there you go. There's two, there's two hooks back here, Alex. Oh, all the way in the back. That these like, but still a part of the, uh, 
the canopy, if you will. Let's see. Ooh, that is tight. Tight little toga. Cool, man. So now that is we're pretty much mostly taut there. That's kind of cool. I guess my question is, not being a fishing trawler boat. This boat is 120th scale, Claudio. Um, 35 inches, I guess, measured from here to here. Um, in length, about five pounds without any ballast, without any, uh, without the battery inside. But the battery that comes with it isn't going to change pounds wise. Um, what would this be for? What do you think it's for? I understand rigging on like sailboat. I understand that rigging on like the Titanic would have been maybe some antenna and stuff in there. But like the rigging on the boat, I was like, this is for for, for bringing in big fish. So this would just be oh, to help. I have no idea if that's yeah. Oh, oh. The, the rigging on the ship I was on in Miami was there was for the big bringing in sharks and stuff. Or is this to like, could you attach a sail to this if you lost, if you lost tuna, power, fishing. tuna fishing for trolling? Okay, so this is what's going to put the net in there and just the easy way to to fish. <laughs> But Bring really cool. There you go, I nailed it. Look at this. So these are just so these must be dummy LEDs. There's definitely no power in there. Yeah. Would be cool. Would be cool. Would be cool if it was. But there's no way to like there'd be no way to connect that. It so then let me the get these two back. The bottom. Yeah, like that's just this whole so this doesn't even this is easily able to pull up and out, but once it's taut, now it's not. This isn't going anywhere now that it's on there and then these two as i had them before are here i can't i can't see on that side of the, of the boat to do it the proper way but cool but like that took no time at all so then i guess if you wanted this lower or higher um which i don't think you'd want to do you'd have to add more string you know you'd have to add more string like this is taut from here but it, this rigging from this part which shoot i wish i knew what like i'm sure you know mast whatever this pole is <laughs> whatever this would be called i'm sure has a name and i feel terrible like see like the wooden pulleys and this is like connected from the bottom of the mast this is actually taut through the pulley down around this and back up like really love uh really love how they do that that's one thing about all these like um like even the rigging in here like obviously has to be done by hand um no machine is producing that and doing it so you know props to the people who are <laughs> with the small fingers if they got them because there's no way i'm tying these little knots you know uh without some some stuff but claudio a hundred percent easy to customize i would sure i'm sure you could paint this up and really uh make it your own you know give her a name obviously every boat needs a name like this one actually doesn't have grand captain on the back but i love since it's got like the motion rc blue i did it to the other one let's do it to this one all right can we get it in there is this gonna be too big let's see but this is gonna like this might fit perfectly. <laughs> almost, it almost fits perfectly. Let me go a little higher. I have to do a smaller one, so we can call this one the Motion RC. Well, I'll do it later. But we could definitely get a sticker on there. I have a smaller one. But that'll match it ended up matching on the other one but super neat so super cool i'm excited to get this to the lake i think it's gonna cruise pretty uh pretty nicely and it looks like a good boat and obviously customize it i'm sure 
there's companies out there with 20th scale figures little um rods, little, beer little rods you gotta have the beer cooler you gotta have a little foam beer cooler in there next to the fish cooler or you just man up and throw your beer in there with the fish that you catch <laughs> just come on get it in there the minnow oh actually i wanted to show you guys can you can you zoom in you think to here yeah so i found a website for the aircraft carrier i can't bring the whole aircraft carrier from where it is but check this out i don't know if you're going to be able to see through we'll see what's up We'll see. Alex has, we have the 300 millimeter lens Small in our studio. There you go. Look at this guy. We found 200 scale aircraft carrier crew. Comes with, came with their seven guys and then the, some, some trucks with more detail than obviously the, what came with, with the boat. But like, look at this guy. We have them in the, any members here can, I almost dropped him. Look at that. Whoa. That's a one 200 scale aircraft. Man, I got to get my white shirt out of the way. Yeah. Here we go. So it's up against the black background. Oh! How cool is that? <laughs> so, Bill. Bill's looking into it. Ah! No! I caught him. I got him. But... How cool is that? So we're looking into it um, about how to potentially grab sets like that, but also, you know, 200 scale figures that would fit a lot of the 200 scale, um, you know, warships we got. Because how sick would it be if you could buy a pack of, I don't know, 50 seamen in all different positions that you can throw? Alex, you're so oh, good. <laughs> you had to make a noise. But, you know, 50 Navy crewmen, if you will, uh, that can run around the battleships. And if they could do them with, you know, in Japanese, German, American, um, you know, for World War II, or just, you know, generic figures would be cool. But then, like, a 20th scale figure, I don't even know what that size would be. Um, I don't have any any scale figures, but you could 100%, you know, really, really decorate and go nuts. And again, add lights to it. You can, this one looks like easy access to the internals to a uh, player. I just had to say, I know Robert, but even this one looks like if you wanted to, because again, now that the rigging is and the mast is in, you could take the whole thing off with everything on top. You could probably, you know, just add the lights to this portion and there's a lot of space up inside to put your battery, to put a switch in here and just have all your lighting on this part of the boat. You know, the ship with a LiPo battery up here. Um, you wouldn't even have to touch the, uh, the bottom, the hull and everything. So all around, super, super cool. So there you go, guys. That's the Grand Captain. This is the plan for Monday. Uh, me and Alex are going to get to the lake with this, and we have a couple other things. Um, today, I'm also expecting the arrival of some... Robert, there's no lighting. No, there's no lighting on the air, uh, on the ship uh, as is. You would have to add that yourself. We do sell plenty of LED light sets um, that you can manipulate. It depends on where you'd want to put the lights. But like looking in here with these these glass you might be able to get away with cutting out inside like light just putting a light on the inside makes some cut out you'd see that come through like you know like somebody was inside the cabin underneath um but getting the lighting up here you know you'd have to do a little bit of you know a little bit of modeling would get you in there what does the door measure that's a good question so we measure the door and that'll help us figure out our Character. Oh, there it is. Boom. The door itself. So you need a. The door itself from. Well, from all the way to the deck, because the door is a little above the deck. The door is about a half an inch above the floor. So I'm going to raise it up. We're about four. Four and. Four and three eighths. Almost four and a half inches on the door. About. So. 
I don't know if a fishing trolley would this be would a normal guy stand above it or he's sort of like, you know, the door is purposely a little smaller, like you're gonna duck to get in? Or is it a normal I don't think it would be would it be a normal size door? Um that I don't know off offhand myself. But uh all around really cool. Aquafish, you got yourself a shout out, man. Aquafish two one four, what's going on? Uh Bruder figures might work pretty good. Google that, Alex. Bruder. B-R-U-D-E-R. Bruder figures. We're going to Google it right now and see what, what it is. Amazing box of beautiful ship. Take care. Robert, thank you so much, man. Uh, appreciate it. Hope your questions are answered. Um, yeah, she's a beauty. 3.75 is standard action figure. Batman might be the correct size. Well, I have a Batman here. I don't know. No, he looks he's a little jacked for our for our ship. I feel like that's a big man standing there. It's like your six inch activator. Those are kind of cool. Okay. Do they have like fishermen? I never even heard of these figures. Can you show that on the uh Yeah. Whoa. I never even heard of this. Yeah, they're not the most detail but they'll work from long range you know looking at it from deep they would work 100 percent dhl truck <laughs> the dhl truck hey son i got you <laughs> do you always sign it when the dhl guy shows up for mommy's packages here's the dhl guy oh they need some fishermen though i don't see uh you know when i see this boat i'm expect i need the fisherman with the yellow rain jacket like the claw like he's like gonna kill somebody with like you know the horror movie fisherman guy is what i what i expect 3.75 118 scale four inches 116 scale so yeah my my assumption is though this door wouldn't be a full frame door like for a house right i feel like boats things are going to be smaller a little bit so you might duck to get in like a six foot guy's gonna have to duck to get in the door of this boat because it's not mandatory to have it full size but uh all around super cool super excited to get this in the water and yeah guys if you want to check out the link uh in the description i think i put the link to the ship down there um but definitely check it out and as always guys stay tuned because next week uh as i said we got I have some Hengguang trucks coming, so if you guys have seen those, so those are the the tactical trucks from Hengguang. They make the MRAP, uh, they make a Humvee, and they make the H E M T T. Uh, you getting that one? That's the one we're getting. The tactical dump truck, the heavy tactical <laughs> dump truck. <laughs> this is what I want to take my garbage. Like they should be picking up my garbage with that uh, <laughs> to come to come to my house. But uh, yeah, we're getting these. And one of them, I forget, they, they made that video where they're pulling a car. So Alex, I think your car, we're going to have to get the straps. My neighbor across the street, I know, would have straps. We're going to rig it up. We're going to try to pull your car around my court um, <laughs> with this thing. I want to see if it, if it does it. Um, I'm so excited to uh, get these. So next week, uh, we're definitely going to probably go live with each one individually. But next week, we'll, we'll pick one uh, and we'll go live with it um, as an unboxing if you will but i'm excited to uh to check these out clorox white clorox wipes for cleaning uh are okay yeah i don't think you'd i mean you know, like anything else you wipe you want to clean with with bleach um do it quickly you know don't let it sit in bleach but um i'd probably use like windex to clean it down if if i were you water. windex or even just water Fresh man water. you know i mean i doubt you're going to take this in the ocean you don't want to have you know adding salt to the mix on these like a real boat you're just gonna you know i always say best part of owning a boat is selling a boat because probably cleaning a boat is a pain in the butt um so it'd be the same same rules would apply to this uh don't do anything um that could potentially hurt it uh in that way but like just normal water maybe a little hand soap mixed with water just to add a little if you get grime or something on it but like for the most part you know the ships behind me i just rub them down with with some water 
and and it works well. But do it early, right when you get them out of you know get them out of the lake, like I do with float planes. You know, the second I've flown float planes in the ocean, um, and then I'll hose them off. I'll just you know hose it right when I get home to make sure. Um, you know, but that's foam. It's a whole different, different beast than this. But I don't think you have anything to worry about on this boat. Uh, I haul a 110-pound excavator with one of those. That's awesome. Wait, dig it, RC. Like, in real life, you drive an HEMTT? Is that what you're talking about? Or you haul a 110-pound excavator with... So like an RC excavator that's 110 pounds, you haul it with a Hengwan truck? Is that what we're saying? That's pretty cool. Bachman makes 120.3 scale products and figures. Oh, Alex, I think you got to... Uh, B-A-C-H Bachman. B-A-C-H-M-A-N-N figures. They might be the exact right size. Oh, there we go. You know what type in fishing? Oh yeah, look at that. Business figures, civil engineers. They got cows. Oh, okay, so this is like that's that's really large scale, but I guess that would be, you know, I I think model trains is where you get it's my thought whenever you get like these things, but then again, 120 a scale figure. That would be a big model train <laughs> set to uh be making that would be a house size but there is a lot of wow but yeah look there you go there's all the model trains on the left side so are there 20 scale there's got to be that's like i feel like model trains is the most expensive hobby <laughs> like when you go to the hobby store like you know you think rc planes and cars and boats but then go over to the model train so section and if you're in it you're in it a Model 8x8 I haul an RC excavator with. Wow, the Model 8x8. So cool. Wow. It's modified, but it hauls great. I want to see. I mean, just in their, you know, their own imagery, their own videos that they put out, Hengguang, um, you know, they show it pulling like a, a car. So I assume it's got the power. It's got the torque to uh, sort of put the car in neutral. I don't know if I'm going to have to give the car a little push just to get it going from neutral. But uh, and then also, Alex, we got to be sure we you're sitting in the car when we do it. <laughs> Just because, you know, we go down, all of a sudden, your car starts rolling. rolling over, it rolls right over the HMT, and the car just continues on, and we got ourselves a problem. Uh, Big Jim RC, for this boat, I assume I'm going to add ballast. I don't know yet. I'm going to go fill up the bathtub today, stick it in there, um, and see what happens. I assume I'm going to have to just, now that I've done a few of the, the ships, right, the lower profile boats, like even that um, San Tropez I did, is a lower profile. I didn't actually need any ballast in that one. The battery was enough and the weight of the motors was enough to be at the waterline. Um, but like the Titanic, even though it's smaller than, say, the Missouri, needed more ballast because of the height. Um, this one, it'll teeter-totter more. Um, this one, though, being that it is, it's chubby... So I got width, but I don't know if this height is going to force me to add a little more. I have no idea. But what I love, super simple to get inside. Some of these, actually, one of the warships, I forget which one I did recently, was a little tough like to get your hand to manipulate the ballast into. But um, I did it. But this one should be super easy to, uh, to get the ballast. I'm going to guess if I need anything, maybe a pound. Um, but based on where the... Based on where the motors are in this, yeah, the motors themselves, which is the heaviest part of what's in here, are right here. So they're nice and center um, on the ship itself. So just looking at it, I think I might be all right. But I'll let you know in the, uh, you know, in the sailing video, I'll show where I put the ballast. But, you know, I have this here again, the BBs. Ready to go, just in case. Just for when we're uh, ready, and I'll have to pull some out of these as well. But all around, super, super cool. 122.5 is LGB scale. 
What's LGB? John, what size is LGB trains? Oh, LGB trains. 122.5. Wow, so this boat is almost... Can you imagine having a model train set where this boat could be parked at the dock with figures as the boat? Like, that's a huge that's model <laughs> train. You know, that seems more like at that size you're making dioramas. Like, just part of the train with your with your set but man you need like your entire basement to <laughs> to even make that to even make that work and i know a lot of guys are out there like i'd kick my whole family out to get all, <laughs> to get the whole the whole first floor would be would be a model you know a huge model set but you imagine that that's that would be unbelievable but uh yeah it's right there I mean, I'd like, yeah, I feel like from 118 to 120 to 122, I feel like you could get away with, probably get away. To the eye, I think you'd be all right. But super cool all around. So, uh, yeah, that'll about do it, guys. We, i surprised we went almost an hour um, on this because obviously not much to do uh, taking it out of the box. The, you know, the goal of these, especially with the bankers, is just to show you guys. You know, again, you don't get to see it. Um, you know, since they came out, we don't, we don't. It's hard to get media on all these, so we're 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 going through them all. After I do this, um, it'll be the especially the tugboat is what we want to get because we have no pictures even from you know the manufacturer of that tugboat on the water. I don't know if you want to show that one, Alex, on uh, on the website, just Bancroft tugboat. Yeah, there it is, the blue blue and red one, the Fair Play. At 650 millimeters, so smaller, definitely a smaller box than this one. It'll be a little smaller, but it's 150 at scale, and uh, I'm excited to see that one too. So I'm gonna, that, I'm probably gonna unbox that later today off off air, but then uh, we could come back live um, next week and show, you know, show that footage uh, from the unboxing. But I assume it'll be similar. I want to get both these boats out there together to get them. You know, if you're going to go to the lake once, bring everything you need at the same time. But uh, we'll do that one. And then after that, we're we're getting close. I think the Armadale is one we have to do. Um, the Arleigh Burke. Mm -hmm. I want to see the Arleigh Burke. I uh, hope that comes through. That'll be great. Um, and then I know there are some more out there that will eventually be coming. Ones you haven't heard yet that will eventually be on the website. But like I said, a lot going on. And then Wesley uh, down in Florida, they're going to be getting out with the Panther. Hopefully today, uh, you saw them unbox it yesterday. I have, I got the Panther. Initially, it came with the livery change. You see it up in the, there it is. Um, I got it with the livery change, but not with the new motor and the reverse ESC and all the new internals. So I'm excited to see how that goes when he, uh, when he shows off that. So hopefully they're flying that today. And then as I said, Stay tuned, guys. Hit the subscribe button. You guys are going to be super excited uh, in the next couple weeks here. We're going to have some fun. So uh, definitely don't miss anything. But, guys, that'll do it. Lake Lanier, Lake Hartwell. No, we are close to Lake Alatuna um, is where I we are near. Lake Alatuna also large. Lanier would be the biggest lake in Georgia, I believe. But I think Alatuna is number two. Um, Alatuna goes for many, many miles through many spots. So... That'll give you an idea of where we are in Georgia, but I'm not going to dox myself and let you know exactly where I am in Georgia. <laughs> but yeah, Lake Alatoona is where we go out uh, for these things, and it works well. It's great. We're really close. But guys, awesome. So yes, uh, as always, next week, we'll definitely be back live. One of us, either Wes or Lori, or uh, me and Alex, we might do another double live next week because we because, again, I want to go through some boats. I've also got those Hangwon trucks. I definitely want to do a live unboxing with you guys. Because I am I love doing the live unboxings because, like, I get them here. And then I have to force myself not to, like, look. So, like, I open the box, just look down. But, like, I didn't get to see this in its full beauty until I took it out in front of you all. So you get to sort of do it live, you know. And you get a real live reaction. Me, I, again, I'm not a boater. Um, I've... I may have been fishing once in my life. I've never been on a boat like this, but even I can appreciate the beauty of anything when you see it. <laughs> I'm close, you know, like I, I get it, you know, going out there on the lake, it's a different type of RC experience um, boating on the lake, but it's relaxing. And I like that sort of thing just as much as I love the exciting stuff, you know, flying a fast jet is just as fun to me as flying a 
you know, an elegant like World War One type plane that doesn't do too much. So same rules apply. Speedboat would be fun, but something that's more scale is also fun, uh, equally fun in its own way. But uh, that'll do it for us, guys. Again, thank you so much. I've said it over and over again. Thanks for joining me. If you're going out and doing anything RC this weekend, I hope you have a great time. Is it Father's Day this weekend? Sunday. Sunday's Father's Oh, my God. I'm a dad. That's good for me. (laughs) That should be good for me. But I'm probably going to have to do yard work on Sunday. I don't know. I'm I'm probably going to end up doing stuff on on father's day because that's just the way things go as well i want to wish every father out there happy father's day to you enjoy your day um your day of rest if if you even get that i don't but uh maybe maybe you guys do but uh either way again we'll be back next week hit the like button on this video um if you like this sort of thing we love doing it and uh obviously hit the subscribe button and have yourselves a fantastic weekend a fantastic father's day and we'll see you next time at motion rc bye guys